What is good you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So we're gonna be doing something different with the M4. I'm going a little bit lower with the ride height. Right now I'm still running the Eibach um, Lower Springs. So I'll, I have, I ordered a Emotion EMD Lower Springs and I'm taking it to, I'm taking the M4 to the shop tomorrow for them to install these springs. Um, Cause I'm not, I'm definitely not doing it, but got the front and the rear lowering springs and I'm not gonna be vlogging that because I have to work and all that, but I'm just gonna show you guys what the car looks like right now with the stock wheels and the, um, the stock wheels and the Eibach Longer Springs because I want to get like a, cl a closer, like a clo closer, I'm trying to close up the little gap that's still there with these Eibach Longer Springs because if you've seen like my other vlogs with um, the aftermarket AG wheels and the upgraded tires, you'll see like there's still just a little bit of gap but I want to close that up a little bit more. And um, I'll show you guys what the car looks like now and then I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow and all of that. Right now, I'm about to go shop for a walkie-talkie so that way I can use them on rallies. Um, if, like I don't have a radar detector yet, I will be getting one. Um, like if there's, if we're rolling in, I'm in the back or in the middle or whatever and whoever's in the front has a radar detector, they can walk in me right away. There's a cop over there, blah, blah, blah. So I'm about to go to Walmart and I'm gonna go to Lowe's first to see what they have. Cause I'm trying to get a walkie talkie that's really good, long distance and everything like that. They don't have it, I'm gonna go to Walmart. Um, then, I mean, I'm not sure where else I can go to for walkie talkie. Oh, Dick Sporting Goods. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. All right, so this is what the car looks like now with the OEM wheels and tires. So you see the little gap, you can fit snug, you can snug two fingers in there comfortably. I mean, I don't have fat fingers, but I think I have normal fingers, skinny fingers. No, nah, probably like in between normal and skinny, but two fingers in the front and then going to the back, you can fit the same, but it's a, it feels like a little bit tighter back here. Um. But yeah, I want to close out that wheel gap just a little bit more. All right, so I just came back from uh, from inside Home Depot, and um, I got this uh, Dewalt walkie-talkie. Um, this one I seen another one for 129, I think it was, and it had like 2W, which is like I guess a longer range. But this one, I mean, this this does the this does enough because I think this one is about 25 to 30 miles away so um that i mean that's good enough and also it has like all the extra stuff and i just wanted a good brand and something that's going to be worth it and this was like this was this this this, mm, this specific one was 99 dollars. so it was like one no what was it 107.49 after taxes so i'm going to try these out and i mean obviously it's going to work but other than that <coughs> um I guess stay tuned for the install of the new lowering springs. All right, you guys, we got the new setup, the EMD lowering springs. As you can see, it's definitely lower. You can fit like a finger in there, which was two fingers before. And then in the rear, it is a little bit, can't fit two fingers in there. You can fit one finger in there. And like I said, my fingers aren't fat like in the middle between middle and skinny so I like the fitment though um I do need an alignment because the shop that did it didn't do an alignment and I'm also gonna need a balancing because I needed that before I needed uh before I took these off um other than that I really like the ride height like let's look at it from a distance like it looks way better than what it was before like it's definitely closed up the wheel gap. Um, now this is the stock wheel, so I wanna see how it looks with the aftermarket wheels I'm gonna get. Stay tuned for that also. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Tell me you guys what you think about the new look, the new stance. I did scrape a little bit. Um, 
when I was leaving somewhere. But it's all right. I don't really care that much. I'm gonna probably still get something fabricated to be like a splitter underneath this lip, but it definitely looks way better. Looks way better. I love it with these new springs. Um, the shop that did it, they fucked up my the uh, adapter. They fucked up my uh. They fucked up my um electronic dampening controller thingy connector. So now the shocks are dumb hard. They're crazy hard. So I have to. Uh, I ordered a new one already. So that'll be here soon. I'll just plug that in. But I'm gonna drop it off tomorrow morning to get a new to get an alignment. I'm probably not never gonna go back to them because look at look at how they just left left this right here. Like, come on, man. They did a they did it for a cheap price, but still, you can't do a janky job and want and want customers to come back to you. Like, I don't even know. I don't know if it's, does a screw go right there? Okay, no, it doesn't. Cause so I thought it was a screw that was missing right there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope the thing is not broken in there. I don't even know, but yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Go Flow.